Your boys are on U.S. soil right now. Oh, man. <laughs> They're on U.S. soil. They are? <laughs> One year after a KXAN investigation helped reunite a father and his sons kidnapped by their mother and taken to Mexico, we check in on the James family. Most of us would hope a kidnapping would be investigated right away, but that did not happen in Stephen James' case. When his ex-wife, who did not have custody of their children, took off to Mexico with his sons, Zane and Mateo, it took nine months for law enforcement to step in and start arresting family members who were helping her. And after a year apart, the father and sons had a lot of catching up to do. You can attack it. It turns right eyes, you attack it. Zane and Mateo James spend their summer days mastering Pokemon and Mario Kart. Holy cow! But the last year has been about so much more than that. It's slowly changing. Um, the school year was hard at the beginning, but then it got easier as it went on. They're both amazing, they're strong. Uh, smart. They've done extremely well in school. Um, they're just—they're so happy. It's been quite amazing having uh, having my family back together. For a dad who wasn't sure he'd ever see his sons again. Were you happy to see your dad? Yeah. Yep. Tell me about that day. I was really shocked. I didn't. I seriously thought that was not going to happen that day. Uh, so we walked into this room, and our dad was there. We didn't know what was happening, so. Just popped up. We're like, what? And he gave us a bag with two Nintendo DS's in it. And I'm like, all right. Is there anything that sticks out in your mind the last year that's just been the best thing? Every single day is the best thing now. <laughs> so that's really tough. Um, uh, you know, I, I think about the day I got them back many times. Zane and Mateo don't like to talk much about their time in Mexico. It was a long and hard year. When you started going to hiding, there was a lot of hot rooms, too. I think it's difficult for a child, uh, any child, to comprehend why it's happening to them, you know. And uh, I mean, it's really hard when it, you know, when it's your child and it hits home. What do you guys want people to know about how hard it is for kids when one parent takes kids away from another parent? Wow. When you're stuck in a war. <laughs> oh my. Careful, plank. Careful. The boys are adjusting well. They got to be the best men at their dad's wedding to new wife Bridget earlier this year. But Stephen still worries. You're still afraid. Yes. Why? I, I'm definitely afraid um, uh, because it was so easy f for them to pull this off the first time. And there are tens of thousands of parents in the United States who go to sleep every single night wondering if their children are even still alive, let alone where they're at. And it's not right. Well, Alicia Gomez, the boy's mother, has not been arrested, but she will be if she tries to come back to the U.S. There is still an active kidnapping warrant for her. Tonight on KXAN News at 10, we are going to look at the numbers. What has changed in the years since our story aired when it comes to how many Texas children have been kidnapped by a parent? And to see our complete coverage of the James story, just log on to KXAN.com right now and look for this story.